good afternoon, all. Sajikor is very pleased to join in the fight against COVID-19 here in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. In acknowledgement of our corporate social responsibility, we have ident identified two groups of first responders to which groups we shall be making a considerable contribution in this fight. We must thank the police and the nursing nurses for being on the front line, keeping this federation safe in these trying times. Thank you so much. Although there was an announcement by the mayor of, of uh, Florida, the governor of Florida, that they're taking some serious actions with respect to closing down operations over there, the ports in Florida are considered essential services, so the ships will be sailing out of there to St. Kitts and Nevis. So there is no need, as we have been told by the importers, the major importers in the Federation and distributors for people to panic. We urge people to be calm, and we encourage them to buy the essential things that they need. Uh, try to avoid binge shopping. And, you know, people are, you know, they, they, are, they, they, they kind of uh, persons, people have certain habits and they like to operate when they see, if they see everybody piling up in one store, a whole set of people comes there. So if there's a long line, a lot of people will come there. So we urge people to kind of work very closely with the supermarkets and distributors in ensuring that everyone can have access. And also, we think and we want to compliment the security forces for the work they do in helping to ensure that there's not much congestion and confusion. It was a difficult challenge and the, 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 the security forces because a lot of persons are still doing panic shopping and we would want to discourage you from doing panic shopping. Panic shopping is dangerous. Dangerous in the sense that we have to limit what we purchase. We have to limit spoilage. We have to make sure we do not overspend. And from what I saw this morning, a lot of persons were engaging in wrong shopping. We saw persons buying stuff like snacks. I'm not saying that you cannot snack, but you don't know how long this pandemic is going to be out there. And so I want to encourage each and every one of you to limit your spending. Save your money for when it is really needed. You're going to reach a time where you're going to wish you didn't spend so much money on foods. I'm a person who don't drink and also, I would say, on alcohol. This is not the time to be doing wasteful spending. And I would want to encourage the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis to adhere to all the announcements that are being made. These announcements are being made for your own safety and your own security. The Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, we intend to be the last man standing because we have a duty to protect our Federation. If you are caught on the road, I can guarantee you, and I can say this without any fear of contradiction, you will receive the long arm of the law and you will receive the full force of the law. We will go to whatever extreme it takes to protect our Federation, to protect our people who put us there to protect them. So I would want to say, please, again, I repeat, please stay at home, stay indoors. At this time in the Federation, our confirmed cases still remain at nine. Unfortunately, our, the rest of our national statistics are still being updated. As soon as they are available, I will share them with the public. We are asking the public to be reminded, however, that quarantine, persons in quarantine are required to stay indoors and not to come into contact with any other persons. Persons in quarantine are there for 14 days and will be advised as to when they are able to leave. Please remember to adhere to our social distancing regulations as well as proper respiratory hygiene. If there is not a need for you to come out of your home, the message to you is stay at home. We are dealing with a very contagious uh, virus. Its, its infection rate is very high. We are seeing what is happening in other parts of the world. Our objective is to ensure that we flatten the curve and by flattening the curve, we will ensure that one death 
is one too many for us here in the Federation. The security forces are going to remain vigilant in enforcing the curfew regulations. We must, rec we must commend them. Again, we must also caution you that the full extent of the, of the law will be brought down on you to protect our citizens and residents alike. I want to remind the general public that the chief medical officer has reiterated over and over to protect yourselves and others around you. She has recommended that you wear a mask. The question has been asked if you don't have a mask and you heard the attorney general who is the mitigation council minister passionately informed yesterday that we have to become innovative. So become creative and protect yourself. Ferries should not be operational at this time. We have received information that some ferries have been uh, in operation and the COVID-19 Emergency Powers Act has stated clearly that the ferries should not be in operations. We met with the ferry operators. They were very supportive in ensuring that we do the necessaries to protect them and their customers. So at this time, we are asking all ferry operators to comply. <laughs>